going to uh, take uh, calibration of uh, cylinder liner. This cylinder liner bore dia is 185. So usually what you do is uh, we will be having a template to take the measurement of the cylinder liner. So presently I don't have a template. So the idea of using the template is uh, the maker will give designated point to take measurement of cylinder liner in a dia that's our calibration. So that is the reason we use uh, uh, template. Template will be like L shape. So it fit on top of it. On the group we take all four measurements. Usually we take uh, measurement for one, two, three, four. So four, four reading will take. So and we have to take two twice. Four reading into two. That means port starboard will be four reading and uh, forward aft will be four reading. That means eight reading you have to take. So I will uh, show you how to take a reading. I'll, I'll take one port starboard and one forward app uh, so that you will get an idea about how to take a cylinder liner calibration. How to do cylinder liner calibration. So this liner is uh, 185 volt. So first I uh, set the initial bore to 185. This is a new liner. Usually, whenever uh, you do uh, any uh, uh, decob, any decob, we have to do the liner calibration. The idea of doing liner calibration is uh, we need to know whether your uh, liner is in a good condition, whether it is uh, not worn out. If it is worn out, how much it's worn out? It is uh, whether the maker's limit is uh, uh, being followed, like whether it is within the maker's. Uh, mentioned limit if it is above the limit we have to change the liner so that is the idea of taking the right calibration okay anyway so first i set the bore gauge to 185 so 185 is yeah you can see here uh, 185 so 185 mark to 00, zero and i lock the reading so fit scale reading is 185 and your uh, round scale reading is zero the line is matching so now i'm going to take the first reading so that is forward and aft okay this is a new liner eh? so that is the reason uh, it is going tight what I do is now I release the lock. Release the lock and turn. Eh? Turn. Now it cannot turn because uh, this is a very brand new liner. So it is not worn out. It is exactly 185. So say I will take one reading over here. So this is not the liner area, but uh, just to show, I will take one reading over here say okay so i set to 185 only a third earlier it is 185 crossed finish zero now i am going to take forward uh, aft and forward so loosen the thimble loosen the lock and i start opening 186 6.5 7 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5, and 1, 9, 0, 1, 9, 0, and some more. 9.5, 91, 91.5, 92, 92.5, 93. 93.5 94 you can see here it is keep on moving 94.5 and it's 95 so 195 and some more to go 95.5 96 
That's all, huh? So now it stop. So ninety seven plus one five. You can see here yeah, one five. It is coinciding with one five. So ninety five, ninety five point five, ninety six, ninety six point five, ninety seven plus one point plus point one five. That means so here one one ninety five one ninety five will be my main scale reading and uh, round scale reading will be 0.15 so 195 plus 0.15 is 195.15 mm so this is the forward aft measurement the same way okay loosen it take it out and the same way you do for the opposite side also that means port starboard again uh, again i tighten it I closed 95, 95.5, 96, 96.5, 97, and 97 coincide with 0.02. So 195 is your main scale reading, and 0.02 is your round scale reading. So 195 plus 0.02, 195.02 m. So This is how. Okay, it is done. Huh? So I will take it. Finish. So uh, this is how we need to calibrate uh, cylinder liner. So like how I took now one reading. I took two reading. One for forward aft and post aft. So in this way we have to take four reading. So like. Uh, Suppose if you if you want to take the bottom most reading, you can tie a rope like this, and we can insert it. You can tie a rope, and you can put it inside and hold it because you cannot hold uh, while you are taking your reading. So you better tie a rope and take a reading like this. But your reading should be precise. If you are using the what do you call a template, it will be more useful. You can be very confident. That's all. Huh? So this is the reason why we tie a rope. Once you tie a rope, we can hold it, and you can see the reading. And the same way, it will be easy to lift it up also. In the same way, go for the other reading. Four star board. So one one reading will be here. One reading will be here. One reading will be here, and one reading will be here. So same way, the forward up. One, two, three, four. so this is how you need to calibrate your uh, uh, cylinder liner so i believe uh, this video must have given you some information about uh, how to do liner calibration if you have any doubt please put in comment box definitely i will reply you thanks for watching thank you guys